How can selling oats and water turn into a $2 billion business and what does it mean for your business? This is the story of Oatly, who in 2012 were a plain vanilla boring brand who had to compete in a very crowded market. And the question was, how can they win? Well, it all changed quickly when a new CEO came and then this started happening. Well, well, no cow. No, 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 well, well, no cow. Okay, what you just saw was Tony Peterson, Oatly CEO. It turns out that he's way more than just a singing CEO because he delivered major change. But what is behind Oatly's wild success? You see, while everyone else in the market was busy just being boring and generic, Oatly find their unique voice and they were punchy, cool, and super funny ultimately transforming them from a food company into a lifestyle brand. And while everyone was talking about nutritional values, Oatly focused on ecological and humane values, connecting people with their cause instead of just selling, selling, selling. But you see, change is never that easy and it runs deep. And Oatly's revolution was way more than just a punchy slogan. Oatly focused on taking a stand and fighting the status quo, speaking to a specific group of people based on their core belief system, and even pushing traditional players in the industry to change for the better. So what can we learn from that story? Well, it turns out that every story in the world is about change, the good ones. If you want that story to stick, it has to be about people's core beliefs and you have to build a community. And if you want that story to be memorable and shareable, well, guess what? We gotta make it entertaining and educational. But if you look at most independent brands in the world, they don't follow Oatly's playbook. Well, meet Sophie. Sophie just quit her day job to start a beautiful brand to create those planners that you see here on the left. And she started with a beautiful dream. She said, I'm gonna join Facebook and Instagram and I'm gonna be on Pinterest. And she joined Night on the High Street, Truva, and of course Etsy, where she landed on page 87. Now, when was the last time you went beyond page three in your search results? Not to mention what went on at Google. So Sophie's situation was no different than Oatly's in 2012. And the questions remained. How can she stand out? What is her change? And what is her story? And since Sophie couldn't find the answer to these questions, she had to shut down. Now, people don't buy products and we know that they ultimately go for the feeling or the experience behind it. And it raises the question, what can an independent brand do now and in the future? Well, they can learn from Cycle of Good, who take these inner tubes from bicycles, shipping them into Africa, working with local communities to turn that waste that you just saw into beautiful, unique products that are loved by their customers. But still, the question remains, how can you cut through the noise? Well, brands of the future will use Oatly's and Cycle of Good playbook. They will create revolutions in story forms, connecting the unconnected based on the values that they stand for. And that's our mission at Sapia. We want to touch 100 million lives by building the brands of the future. Join the revolution. Thank you. As consumers and brand owners, we know that the online world is just super noisy. Brands of the Future is a workshop for those who want to grow their business, have a positive impact, and most importantly, learn how the best brands in the world manage to cut through the noise. To do that, we need to close two gaps that you have, a knowledge gap and a network gap. Brands of the Future is not a webinar. Rather, it's a practical workshop in which First, you learn the principles of brand building and then you apply them to your brand in a group setting while giving and getting feedback. There are four meetings and we meet once a week live. In between, there is coursework. It's not homework, it's brand work because you have to build your brand. Why should you care? Because at the end of it, two things will happen. One, you will see your marketing and branding strategy in a whole new light and two, suddenly you will be part of a peer group, a power group that can help you in your journey. Now, watch an example, a preview that we're going to talk about in the course.